Hey everyone, this is Squallsnake from MyGamer.com, and today I am playing the Cotton Reboot on PlayStation 4. Before we jump in, I always like to check out the settings. I'm going to keep everything as default here. I am going to play as Cotton, but you can play as Silk, but I'm going to play as Cotton. And then the game manual I think is really cool. I'm going to fly through this real quick, and you can cycle through the pages with the shoulder buttons. This explains what everything is. So you have the new arranged mode, and then you can play the X68000 mode. You got time tech, which is two or a five minute uh, battle, essentially. You got ranking options than this manual. This is out of play, so basically you're just going to be shooting with the tri uh, square button, excuse me, and then you can use your magic as you power that up with the X button, and then you can activate fever mode with the triangle button. Pretty straightforward. The whole gimmick with this game here is it teaches you when you want to shoot the crystals, and then when you shoot the crystals, it diffuses. So right here, so you're shooting a crystal and then your power kind of gets amplified through the crystal. That's kind of the gimmick here with this great shooter. And I'm actually going to play the X68000 mode because I already played through the arranged mode once and I just want to play through the original here. Oh man, look at the graphics here by Deep and Success. Cotton is one of those games where, man, if you own a copy of Cotton on like any system that it's been on, you're rich because this is always one of the rare games on that system. It's on like the obscure system too. There's like a Dreamcast version. I know there's a version on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And if you own these games because they're made always in such limited quantities, they are just worth tons of money, especially complete these days. So the whole point here is uh, you, you're, you're trying to get Willow, which I guess is some kind of candy that Cotton really likes, but this fairy here wants help. And so she's like, hey, witch, come and help us from the demons of darkness. Defeat this evil and save our world. And she's like, I'll give, she's like, nah, I'm not interested. And then she's like, well, I'll give you this Willow stuff that's like really tasty candy. And of course, because it's very anime, they love it. And that's what she's really fighting for. See, if you defeat the demon bosses, the fairies, uh, world, the world famous Willow will be yours for the taking. And then she's like, what? Willow, let's go. Let's do this with the anime eyes. <laughs> so very anime. I like it. And let's jump in. So this is the original 6800 version, 68000 version, excuse me. And what I like about Cotton is you can just hold down the button, the, the attack button, and it also shoots the bomb. So if you notice she is shooting the bomb that you know goes down as opposed to straight ahead and the enemies here are really creative crazy enemies here's like these flying eyeballs you got these lizard things these gnomes so it's just a great anime style shooter so if you ever played the cotton series before you're kind of in for a treat this is a fan favorite a lot of people like the cotton games again if you can actually get a hold of a copy because it's very rare so I am going to try and see if I can update, or uh, update, if I can see, I'm going to shoot this crystal and it kind of bounces and then it changes color. So you can see as I'm shooting the crystal, the bullets kind of get enhanced, they diffuse as the instruction manual said. So that's kind of the gimmick, so you kind of want to keep the crystals in play because if you shoot through them, they become, oh I just got blasted, they become more powerful. What I want to see is, I think, and this is what I'm going to find out, in, at least in the arranged version, this is the original version, you had lives and continues, but, and then every time, you know, like your score would go down, but you can just continue from where you are. I like that because this game gets pretty crazy, especially in the later stages. And it's kind of just nice, it's not the R-type where, you know, one hit, you die, you gotta go back to the checkpoint. You know, here, they let you just kind of continue from where you are. I'm trying to juggle these crystals, I don't want to lose them. And then if you shoot the crystals enough, they turn black. And then that's like the bonus crystal if you can collect it. So here's a crazy boss, I'm gonna try again, shoot through the crystal, made it, and I just turned it red. Oh, I just got... that was dumb. So the crystals... Let's see if I can make one turn black, I don't know. I 
go shoot this guy now. So there's my... I just, uh, I just hit the next button and I used... Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah, they do let you continue from where you are, even in the original version. So you can just kind of play at your own leisure. Obviously, the more you die, the lower on the leaderboard rank you're going to be. And then I think that... Is that the end of the level? Because at the end of the level you get... Yeah, tea timer, and then the stuff falls from the sky, and you collect it. And so this was just level one, but as the stages go on, the tea time icons that fall, fall faster and faster, so you kind of grab less and less. Oh, that sucked. But just a little cool extra. And of course, it wouldn't really be an anime shooter without some kind of a anime babe in a bikini of some kind. How nice to meet you. So Cotton really wants this willow, which is this some kind of candy. But the fairy won't let her eat the candy. And then the ending, I don't really want to spoil it, but obviously it involves the willow. And it's kind of funny. See, when you collect all seven willows, so there's the seven stages, and it becomes a big willow. And then if it mixes all the willows together, and makes like, essentially like one super candy, there it is kind of right there. What? A big and great willow. I love the ridiculous anime style. I mean, that's what makes, part of what makes Cotton Cotton. Alright, stage two. Yeah, so this game, I think... Is this game officially... Oh yeah, I, got, I actually got this game. I got a code. A press code. Again, I, maybe I should back up. I write for a site called MyGamer.com. I've been running it for almost 20 years at this point. So I get codes early. And I think this game is out now to the masses. I know it's on PS4. It's going to be on Switch. I want to say maybe Steam, you know, PC as well. It's not on Xbox. And I got this, like I said, a couple of weeks ago, maybe. And I wasn't allowed to stream it. I should have... I think it's available now. Oh, I just got smooshed by the screen. So I think it's available now for everybody so I can stream. Hopefully I'm not breaking an embargo date at the time of this recording. And... So this is the original version, and the arranged version, which I played before the stream, played it, beat it, is also really good. It's just kind of enhanced graphics, essentially the same game. You're still fighting the bosses, you still have the gem mechanic. And the later stages get pretty crazy, they get hectic. And, if anything, I think the arrange mode at the later stages actually gets, a, like, too crowded. So it kind of becomes a little confusing on what's an explosion, what's just in the background, what's not interactive, what's going to kill me, what's not going to kill me. Because there's just so many particle effects at times. But, at the same time, that's kind of what makes... I think a good shooter or shooter, you know, you don't want it really to be slow paced, you want it to be exciting. I just got killed from a guy who came from behind me, that was a little unfair. The Grim Reapers. Ah, oh, that was, that was dumb. I'm using the analog stick, I'm gonna go maybe to the D-pad. You know what, the D-pad kinda doesn't feel right. Going back to the analog stick right away. I think it's better controllable. Right, here's the death. These bullets are tracing me, following me. I'm gonna blast it with some magic. There's a fire dragon. Let's use a lightning bolt. Let's use another lightning bolt. We got a bunch of them. Is that it? No. So each stage 
is also different. So here's clearly the graveyard death theme stage. Great for Halloween time. Almost dead, there we go. Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. So, these are falling a little bit faster. If you get the darker ones, the redder ones, you get more points. Ah, I missed. You can follow me on Twitter, by the way, at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Give me a follow. I give away game codes all the time, usually two to three a week. So if you follow me, I'm probably going to give you something at some point. I've given away so many codes over the years. Stage three. managed to have two fairies now. You can get up to, I think it was six at a time if you play really well. So yeah, sometimes the stages, even though they go mostly left to right, sometimes you get instances like this where they go backwards, and you can't shoot the other way. You can only shoot forward. You can, or I should say, you can only shoot to the right. Let's see if I can kill that thing. Oh, smoked! Yes, I will continue. I got killed by the gnome's axe. Oh. Ah. Not doing well. Get closer to the enemy, he sh kind of shoots a lot faster. I don't like these fairy things, they shoot these crazy laser bolts that come at you quickly. Alright, this should be the boss.
take my distance, because this fireball thing... Yep, you got a sword attack. There's a lot going on here. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Do time. Alright. Now you can see the things are falling faster. I don't know what that symbol means. Oh, I'm not doing... I'm not getting very many. Oh, I just missed that one. Damn it. Yeah, go check out mygamer.com, by the way. My personal blog is squallsnake.com. I have it at the bottom of the screen there. One step closer. Alright, stage four. See, I think there's seven stages? Because I know there's seven... Willows. Ah. Ah, I got picked off by the... Arrow. Got another fairy at least. So those fairies are in those weird looking uh, silver bowl things with the face on it. There's one, or there, there's a couple of them here. We'll see if there's a fairy inside. This one just has a gem. I couldn't get in there to get the, the other fairies, but I'll take what I can get. this thing. I'm just gonna keep my distance. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, smoked. Thought I was doing well. Let's blast it with some lightning. Flashing. I'm grab the gems. I'm stuck on the. Ah, I missed the. Ah. Now that's where it gets a little tricky when the enemies come from the left side because you can't shoot that way. This game, I feel as though challenging, it's still beatable. It's not like some of these other shooters that are just out of control with the difficulty. I mean, each death that I'm taking here, I feel as though, you know, it's my fault. Ah, see, I could have avoided that if I was just smarter and paid attention and had some more experience and knew what was coming. So that's what I like about it. It's an, still an approachable game, still offers challenge but it's not ridiculously impossible, and then thanks to the the continue system where you can just continue from where you left off, I think that's great. Makes it fun, makes it playable. And if you want to try to beat it without dying, that's a self-imposed challenge that you can do if you want. Gem could not grab a gem. Oh, took a big, big turn. He's shooting more blobs now. I 
and then just snag a couple of gems. That was close. Let's use some magic. There we go, got him. A good use of magic there. Alright, tea time. Watch me not catch these things. Alright, that was a good... Gotta go for the red guys. I mean, this is totally random. There's no... There's no rhyme or reason to that. Boom. Okay, what's next? Cotton defeated Mora, the guardian god of the temple, acquiring the fourth willow, but... There are numerous enemies still waiting. Stay strong. Don't give up. Alright. Stage 5. So now we are beyond the halfway point. Back to the Grim Reaper guys and the eyeballs. See what we got here. Oh, so we have enemies now coming from behind us again. All right, there we go. We got a uh, another fairy on our side, which is good. Always good. Oh, this guy again. He took me out. I think it was like the first level with his crazy eye beam. Gotta take these guys out quick. No. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do at all. That was dumb. That was just totally my mistake. Horrible control. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get down. Go. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. That was a little crazy. have some turtles and some bad lobster crabs. Let's blast them with some magic. That did not do the trick. That was stupid. That was that was totally my mistake. That was really dumb. I'm going to try to shoot the bottom guy. I feel as though I gave him a few more hits. There we go. Now he's shooting bubbles at me. stay on top of them because you kind of have to hit them right when they spawn otherwise they can cause some problems. Damn it! That was dumb! Right, get the bomb. Upgrade the bomb. Here we go again with this guy. Yeah, those eyeball things have a lot of energy. There we go. There's a another fairy on her side. Always good. from that guy. What would, I don't know what I got hit by. I totally missed something there. That 
was not fair. I did not know a big arm demon thing was gonna... Okay, well let's blast it with some lasers. Yikes. That was a nice dodge. That was lucky. Did not know he was gonna do that. There he goes again. Hit the bombs! If I could hit him with some more bombs there. See that? There we go. doing this, this is going to be fine. I don't like this thing following me. Oh, yeah, I knew I was stuck. That was just as I was getting cocky and I thought I knew his pattern. Damn it. Alright, let's blast him with my magic. I'm starting to run low on the magic. We got one left. Ah, that was a bad waste of magic. Alright, now I'm out. Shooters only. Ah, uh, what was that? Come on. It's a lot of energy, this guy. There we go. I could not get the gem. Alright, tea time. How bad am I gonna fail here? Wow, look at how fast these things come now. I got like nothing this time. All right. Two more levels, I think. I'm going to eat these small ones. Don't please no. Willow really likes candy. Or, er, Cotton really likes Willow candy. All right. One more. Two more. Ah. Fire Mountains. Not really sure how I survived that, but I'll take it. Oh, this guy. This guy's an asshole. No, I was doing so well. Yeah, this is where things start getting heated. This stage and the next stage. There, come on. Now 
this is where it all just falls apart. Alright, we got one. And this guy's pattern now I think changes a little because his partner's gone, damn it. go. It's just me or these enemies just seem like they have more and more energy every level. These dragon Pokemon looking characters. Man, so much health. I didn't see that lava rock that popped up. That was a little cheap. so well. No! I don't really want to hit the fire guy with the fire magic, but don't have much choice. Sorry, Mr. Dragon, I have nothing against you. Just one more of these. And a seven colored willow. Googly eyes. Massive, plump, pretty. That delicious springy texture. Just bouncing. And I'm um, gonna have some azuki beans after the Sakura flowers. And, and. I don't know what any of that means. last level. Seven, seven, seven. Well done. Collection six colors of the willow. Unfortunately, whilst I'm around, I will not let you go to the fairy realm. I will eat you together with the willow. Yeah, this last 
Is this last stage even just the stage or just the boss? Yeah, I think it's just the boss. Yeah, here we go. So, you gotta fight this... other fairy demon or something. Just got a shield. Let's see if I can kill these pumpkin things. I mean, I got magic. I might as well use it, right? Well, that was a nice one. Perfect timing. It? Yeah, I think, yeah, there we go. Oh, that was it. There we go. So there it is. There's the clearing of the original mode. But here's the ending. Now watch this. So she has all seven Willow. But, well, I don't want to spoil it here. Assuming that the original version is the same as the arranged version, which I played before. Thank you, Cotton. After so many hard battles with your courage, the morning light will soon arrive to our fairy realm and also to your world. The seven colors of Willow is what creates the colors of our dimensions. Willow. Part from my hand and become your true colored self. Oh man, Cotton, thank you for saving our fairy realm. I'm sorry we had to lie to you about a huge willow, but everyone is filled with appreciation, so she's not going to get to eat her big candy without you. It would not have been possible to dispel the evil darkness. The queen is so happy. Um, excuse me? So they lie, they're like, go collect all this stuff, you get a big treat at the end, and now there's no treat. And how do you think Cotton is going to feel about that? Not good. <laughs> Excuse me, she has turned to stone because she got so pissed off. Oh, that's right. I heard the kingdom next to us has a golden willow stolen by thieves if you help them out. You might receive the... What? And now she comes back to life because she's going to be lied to again. And she freaks out because <laughs> she's like, yeah, let's do it, even though it's probably... She's so gullible. And then the happy music plays. <laughs> Finn's so dumb. But that's cotton for you. There you go. There's the original mode. In Cotton Reboot. And I'll let the credits roll. Yeah, 1991. So yeah, that took 35 minutes or so to play through each of the seven levels.
I want to see if my score gets updated to the leaderboard. When I played this a few weeks ago on the original, or excuse me, the arranged mode, the new mode, I beat it, but it didn't seem like my score uploaded, but I want to say it's because I was playing the game a couple weeks early, so the leaderboard might not have been active yet, or activated yet. So I want to see now if I can get ranked and then where I rank. I mean, I did not play special by any means, didn't play that well. It's my first time playing through the original mode here. But still nonetheless want to see how many people are playing this, where I rank. Thanks for playing. Let's see what happens. I think it updates it, uploads it automatically at the end, but I guess we'll find out. Beep and success. This cotton is just flying now with no broom. There we go. Alright, game over. Let's see if it... There we go. Uploading to the ranking server. Successfully registered. Okay, so it said that it registered. So let's see now. So it uploads it, but it doesn't show you it until you go here. So I want to play rank or activate ranking. I played it on normal and my ranking square. See, it's a, that's what's weird. I'm hitting square, even though it uploaded. I'm hitting hard hardest. Do you beep edition arrange mode? Oh, there, there's my arrange mode. So there, that's there, and I'm ranked 1,254. Oh, okay, you got it. So there's individual, so here's all ranking, here's Cotton's ranking, and then you can play, I didn't play it as Silk yet, so yeah, I'm not gonna have any. So let's go, because I beat it on the... Yeah, this isn't, it's actually showing nothing. So I want to say there's like a glitch or something, like, or maybe it's just not activated yet, but, I mean, there's nothing at all. Oh, here, I'm hitting, oh. So I hit X, and then you can cycle through the pages with the... So there's not that many. You know, there's only a... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see. I'm assuming R2, L2 now. Okay, so it doesn't wrap around. But, yeah, I'm hitting triangle, and I'm not getting ranked here, so I'm not sure... Why I'm not being ranked, that's weird, that kind of is stupid, so... Even though you, it said, bam, I was ranked... Yeah, so when you're playing the original mode, you can only play as Cotton. See, I don't know what's up with that. I see an error occurred. Anyway, so this has been Cotton Reboot. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. Please check out my personal blog at squallsnake.com. Give me a follow on Twitter. I give away game codes all the time. Probably give you something at some time. And go check out mygamer.com. Been running that site for, man, I don't know, 18, 19, 20 years, something like that. I don't even remember anymore. So many articles there. Too many to remember. So until next time, though, thank you for watching and game on.